way down south across town lake in the heart of Austin, Texas. There lives a gal who loves to cook and she's called Carmen Banana. She has a show about the fruit that everyone is craving. Bananas are the kind of dish that'll leave your sweetheart raving. Bananas, bananas, my name is Carmen Banana. I know about a thousand ways to cook the great banana. Just watch my show and you will know how the bananas will make a man of ya. It's on TV, it's Friday night, it's Carmen's Banana Cooking. The heart is here, the fruit is there, and I'm called Carmen Banana. Banana. Carmen Banana, all the way from Casa Carmen, with another great episode of Carmen's Banana Cooking. <laughs> Tonight we have a special show for you. One thing we're going to do is we're going to all the way to the Mr. Gourmet is going to Treaty Oaks tonight for a special recipe. <laughs> and also my, Carmen's favorite younger sister, Karma Banana is going to do a little episode of Banana Size, you know. So get ready to put on your tights and do a little Banana Size. <laughs> uh, but our specialty tonight is the best group that you'll hear playing around the Austin scenes right now. It's called the, they're called the Austin Lounge, Lounge Lizards. And they are Conrad Dreiser, who plays the lead guitar, Hank Card, who is the rhythm guitar, Paul Sweeney, who is the man and model in, Kirk Williams, the bass, and Tom Pittman, banjo. Yay! And the Austin Lounge Lizards have been around for about eight years and have an album out already called uh, Creatures from the Black Saloon. And they have another album out in a couple months called Highway Cafe of the Damned. And maybe we should just start this very second with the Lounge Lizards playing the Highway Cafe of the Damned with Hank Cord Card leading. Let's give a big round of applause to the Austin Lounge Lizards. Yay! <laughs> Driving down the interstate to Winslow, Arizona I had seven vices on my mind Long cadaverous, fornication, television Whiskey, beer, and wine Mama tried to raise me better But I held her in contempt And I punched her in the nose And I laughed the day that I broke the heart Of my San Antonio Rose I denied the sky as I wondered why I had come no good end. So I lit another bag and I took a drag. I smoked it was my only friend. The thunder was a puppet and the wipers were a slap and I heard the long long crash. Then I woke up at this floor of my account with a plate of corned beef hash. Waitress, waitress, bring me some coffee. Make it as hot as you can. Bring me the light Everlasting night at the Highway Cafe of the Dam. There's a black velvet painting of the King of Rock and Roll hanging just beside the door. The short owner cook has a lean and hungry look as he soils the kitchen floor. The radio is playing Barry Manilow incessantly. It almost drives me mad. A drunken local trolley tries to pitch a double wallet to a salesman clad in black. Waitress, waitress, bring me some coffee Make it as hot as you can Bring me a light for this everlasting night And my highway cafe on the I try to leave, but two-headed Cerberus is holding 
truck soon by And I know that I am doomed to forever stay Death thou comest when I had the least in mind I was cut down in my prime So then the stale rolls and over casseroles Until the end of time Waitress, waitress, bring me some coffee Remember, the Highway Cafe of the Damned is the title song for the new Austin Lounge Ledger's album. Yay! And we want to thank Sarah McNick for interpreting the song in sign language. Yay! Good for Sarah. Well, listen, now we, let's, uh, we need to go to, now we need to go to the Mystery Gourmet, who is going to be going to the Treaty Oaks Cafe to have something special cooked up. Come on in, Mystery Gourmet. <laughs> Hi! Here we are at Fifth and Baylor for another episode of your favorite Mystery Gourmet. And in case you don't know what Fifth and Baylor is, it's the home of the Treaty Oaks Cafe. Treaty Oaks Cafe is open on from Monday through Friday for lunch and Monday through Saturday for dinner. And then they have a special brunch on the weekends on Saturday and Sunday. Honey, this food is going to be delicious. But listen, remember, with the Mr. Gourmet, I'm actually going to be the sheeps in wool clothing. Or, how do, wait, that's not quite right. I think I'm going to be the mask marauder. Yes, and remember, no one's supposed to know who I am. Wait. Okay. Here we are. No one's going to know who I am so that when, remember, if you're at any of your favorite restaurants and you see the Mr. Gourmet, shh, because mum's the word, shh. Well, come on into the Treaty Oaks Cafe at 5th and Baylor, and let's see what they have. I like all the windows. Hello, mm, mm. my name is Charles. I'd like to welcome you to the Treaty Oak Cafe. Oh, thank you. You know, Charles, mm, you mean, I think I'd like to start with a glass of nice, light, dry white wine. I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm. What we have here is a bottle of Zaca Mesa. It's a Sauvignon Blanc from California. I think you'll enjoy it. Ooh, I love Sauvignon Blanc. Now, do you have a, a special, is this like a special wine of the day or something? This is a wine that we feature by the glass. Oh, well, it looks delicious. Well, this menu is really pretty extensive. What kind of things do you have? Well, we offer a fresh soup daily. Mm -hmm. We have a variety of very fresh salads that are delicious. We make all of our dressings in-house. Mm -hmm. We serve our sandwiches on custom baked buns. Ooh. And we also have a variety of tacos made with soft whole wheat tortillas. Ooh. We have an interesting enchilada selection that features artichoke enchiladas, grilled chicken enchiladas, beef enchiladas, and crab enchiladas. Mm. Uh, some house favorites are our harvest platter, which is our fresh vegetable selection. Uh -huh. Then we also have a baked pasta dish. We have a stir-fried vegetable dish. And we really like to serve our fresh seafood. Oh, that just sounds delicious. Uh, well, do you have anything in the banana department? Yes, we do. I was going to recommend that you, whatever you choose for dinner, that you save some room for dessert. Uh, in addition to all of our usual daily dessert specialties, today we have a fresh banana dessert. Ooh, fresh banana dessert, my favorite. Listen, forget the entree. Let's just go straight to the dessert. We'll have the entree later. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here we are, Carmen. A Tritio Cafe specialty, banana yucatana. How is this made? This is delicious looking. Well, we start with fresh bananas, fresh strawberries, and we coat them with a fresh reduced orange glaze, and it's ringed with fresh Ooh. whipped cream, and it's sprinkled with a little cinnamon, and it's also sprinkled with freshly grated coconut. Charles, this just looks delicious. Do you mind if I just dig in? Help yourself. Hope you enjoy it. Mmm, mmm. The aroma of this dish is so incredible. It is really delicious. Mmm. And the strawberries are so fresh tasting. Mmm. I want to savor this taste for the rest of my life. Mmm. This is real good, folks. So, mmm. Listen, let me tell you a couple things about the show. Remember, if you want your favorite restaurant reviewed, remember to go to the manager, have him say it's okay, and then write me a note at the address that's at the back of our show. We always have our address there. But the most important thing to remember is the next time you come into the Treaty Oaks Cafe or come into any restaurant that, re that we review, be sure to tell them that Carmen sent you. Listen, thanks a lot for the Mystery Gourmet, and join us next time. Treaty Oaks is a nice place to eat, isn't it? Well, folks, now we have another song by the Austin Lounge Lizards called Jalapeno Maria, and Kirk Williams is going to be the lead singer on that one. Come on in, Austin Lounge Lizards! Yay! I got laid off in Lubbock And laid low in the grain Lost a lady in Laredo some things they never change In Maria's cantina With the cabrito cuisine I said Maria Cerveza She was the best I had ever seen Jalapeno Maria Oh, it's so good to see ya Jalapeno Maria She started to sway Like a rainbow tornado She carried me away On my head it was spinning Her hot breath in my ear I said, Maria, I love you She said, have another beer Jalapeno Maria Oh, it's so good to see you Jalapeno Maria Jalapena Marie is music I like to dance to. And you know, the Austin Lounge Lizards also play at the uh, Cactus Cafe, the Waterloo Ice House, and the Texas Tavern. So if you miss them here tonight, you can see them at another place all over Austin. And now we have something special just for the kids in our audience. So kids, go grab your brother and your sister as we go to the Smart Banana. 
Hi, it's the Smart Banana with some words of advice to children. Kids, I have something to tell you. If someone offers you a banana, you have three different choices that you can do. If you don't know the banana, if you don't know the person, just say no thank you and walk away quietly and quickly. And if they start to follow you, you run to the closest adult. Now the second thing you need to do is that if you don't know the person but you're with your teacher or your parents, just say thank you, yes, I would love a banana. And your third choice, if someone offers you a banana and you know who the person is, just scream, bananas, I love bananas, and I love people that give me bananas. Bananas are my favorite. So remember, don't take bananas from strangers unless you're with your parents or your teachers or someone you know. Don't be a dumb banana. Be a smart banana. Bye. Well, kids, I hope you learned something from the smart banana. So now we have another song by the Austin Lounge Lizards, and let's do this one. Let's call this one, I'll Just Have One Beer, featuring Conrad Dreisler. Hit it! Watching TV is ruining my mental health So I guess I go over to old Herschel's or Sweeney's or Texas or some such place How come you've got that strange look on your face? Darling, don't you know that I'll just have one beer Then I'll be right home Well, I guess I told you that at least once before This time, don't you know, I really mean it And you know I don't get drunk anymore some of them guys be singing them songs I'll do a little picking too And you know how they love to twist my arm Still I just can't help it if I have to jump up Show them how to yodel a And I don't see how one beer's gonna do me anymore Make mine a devil's drool Well, I'm sitting here thinking, too, I know another song Gotta keep this party alive And know how you hate it when you're sleeping all alone But I'm much too drunk to drive Along about three, if I should find I'm gonna be a little late getting home Well, don't you know I'll call you on the phone And wake you up singing all the home another beer too. Oh, that was great. Austin Lounge Lizards, great. Listen, uh, I want to remind you one thing that uh, we are now about to go to Professor Banana who is going to teach you all about electricity. But before we go to Professor Banana, I want to invite a few members of the Austin Lounge Lizards over to, uh, to the kitchen at Casa Carmen. Let me cook you up some, some uh, banana lizards. So let's go to, to Professor Banana while we get the uh, Lounge Lizards get their instruments in order. here and I am going to tell you about physics but not the way they taught you in school not with all those formulas and those numbers that's so boring I am going to tell you about electricity and how they really make electricity what do you do you know you plug something in do you know where those electrons really come from I am going to show you right now I have a banana generator right here, a banana. I'm going to use this banana and these probes, and I'm going to stick them into the banana. 
And I am going to wire the banana up. And if you will look very carefully on my meter, you will notice that I'm making electricity. You see that meter go? That is physics. And now you know what to do if your Walkman runs out of batteries, don't you? Just call Professor Banana. Well, listen, right now I want to remind you about our fan club. You know, you can join our fan club, and our address is at the very end of this show. And while you're thinking about joining the fan club, I also want you to join our talent search. We have, uh, we have an amateur talent search for people that have never been on TV, have never performed before. Just write Carmen Banana and tell them what you do, and you can be on TV. So listen, now we have a co three members of the Lounge, the Austin Lounge Lizards. Let's have Hank and Conrad and Kirk come on in and let me let you cook for Carmen. Wait, I'm cooking for you. Great, okay, now here we have Conrad right here. Right, raise your hand, I scoot up real close. Conrad, and here we have Hank. That's Kirk. Kirk, and here we have Hank. Okay, great. Well, welcome to Casa Carmen. Howdy. You're, see, you sounded great. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's been very entertaining. Yeah, right. never a dull moment. <laughs> well, I know you're going to be a little surprised at what I'm cooking for you tonight, but I'm actually cooking for you, uh, I'm going to call them banana lizards. How sad. Well, <laughs> it'll be something new, won't it? <laughs> so listen, the first thing you do is you start with the chocolate. I'm going to ask each of you boys to grab some of this chocolate here and unwrap it and just throw it all in the, uh, the, the pan, and we'll see how long it takes to get it's a meltdown. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a total <laughs> meltdown of the chocolate. And listen, while we are uh, playing with the chocolate, let's go to banana size. You know who banana size is with, Jane? It's with our, uh, our, our favorite sister, Fonda Banana. And Fonda <laughs> Banana is going to teach you how to banana size instead of exercise. So come on, Fonda, let's start dancing. It's Fonda Banana reminding you, don't just exercise, banana size. And with banana size, what you do is you start with one banana and work your way up to a whole bunch. So get off your chairs and get up and banana size. Now the first exercise we're going to do is what's called the ski pole. Put your bananas up high and then drop them as you bend your knees and go all the way to the back. Slowly like this. Go all the way back up like this. And put a little bounce. Well, you see, it's going to take a while oh, to get this. Good. How does this look, Hank? It looks delicious. Oh, good. It's <laughs> melting, though, isn't it? Well, listen, while we're waiting wow, for this to happen, that. the it's next melting. step we do is that we actually pierce the banana. And you know what we do? Conrad's good at that. Is he good? He pierces the banana. <laughs> now, we, want, we don't want the banana to look like this, so what we want to do is to make it as straight as possible. So put the banana like this and put this little skewing rod in and just go all the way through, and as it goes through, just sort of straighten it out a little bit. See, how does this look? Do you think you can do that? And so that way you get more of a lizard-looking banana like that. Today's talent search goes all the way to Lamar Middle School. Uh, let's give a small round of applause to the Slumberettes. <laughs>
as you can see, the chocolate. Now, boys, you aren't paying any attention, oh, are you? Good. Okay. The chocolate is just about nice and creamy. So while we're wet, let's turn the the the, the furnace down a little bit low on this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to now dye the the coconut. Now, for all this, right, all you do right. is you just take regular coconut and put it in a jar. And yes, now you have to be careful. You turn, you'll get lizard skin. No, you will. I, I've got lizard skin this afternoon. Now just pour about three drops in. Only three. Well, it's their big drops. Like those. Okay, and spread it all around. You probably need a little bit more. You took too much. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's all right. Okay, now you need to shake it. Okay, you need much, much more. Much more. Much, much more. Okay. I'm sorry. I wasn't. See, I told you about lizard's hands. Okay, is that enough? All rock and roll. Okay. Green, green. Let's make it green. Let's make it nice and green. Okay. And see, just shake it up and see how pretty this is looking. Oh yeah. Looks just like lizard skin, doesn't it? Like lizard skin. Okay, now we've got the lizard skin going, and we've got this going. So now what we do is we start pr preparing everything. So let's put this over here, and I'll show you how to do it. What you do is, oh, now pre preparing the lizard. So what you do is you just dip this cho the chocolate, but the bananas in the chocolate, and of course, since the pan doesn't fit, you just sort of have to cheat a little bit and slap that stuff. Out. Yeah, just sort of. You know, cover it with chocolate. Oops. That's when mom used to do it. Oh my. Yes. Goodness. Ooh, boy, doesn't this look good? <laughs> okay. My doesn't exactly. it? <laughs> and then what you do is mm -hmm. uh, just dip this in the uh, the coconut, or as we call it, lizard skin. Uh -huh. Okay. And I think we better just go like this. <laughs> So to shake it up, nice and thick. Now you're laughing, but I want you, to, you won't believe this. Okay, mm, wait, if I can just pull it out. Does look good or what? Okay. It, it even, look, Ooh. look, folks. Ooh. It's your, it's, it's, your, it's, it's your banana lizard. <laughs> now doesn't that look just like a lizard? Perfect. Well, let's just set this right over here. Mm -hmm. That man over there with the headphones looks like he wants one. Oh, you know he does. Now listen, now, green skin. let's go ahead and do one more banana, I know I'm going to do a couple more of these banana lizards. Let's do, get this one going. And as we get this one going, let's go to the banana Bureau. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Chet Banana with another Banana Report. More bananas are brought into the port of New York than any other commodity. This has been a banana fact. This is it. This is your banana lizard. Well, listen. <laughs> Can Listen, boys, okay. I want to thank you for, for, for bringing your band down here. We really always, enjoyed the music. Enjoyed the music you played. Now we've got, we're covered with bananas, with, yes. uh, with lizard skin, aren't we? <laughs> Whatever. Really. Well, listen, thanks a lot thanks. for joining us on Carmen Bananas Certainly. Cooking.